Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you're able to join me and the teachers for Sunday worship today. We have been learning about how God loves his people and takes care of us. Last week, we learned that God hears and answers his people's prayers through a story of a woman named Hannah. Hannah really wanted a baby boy and God answered her prayer by graciously giving her a son, Samuel. And today we will learn about God's special plans for Samuel. Are you ready to learn more about God today? Let's first start with the countdown. Now let's sing Good Morning God. Are you ready? Let's put our hands together and close our eyes and bow our head and let's pray together. Dear God, you are so good and wonderful and we come together this morning to worship you. Help us to worship you with a joyful heart and give us listening ears and understanding as we learn more about your special ways to speak to your people this morning. We love you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Good news, good news, come and sit and listen to God's Word, to God's Word. Good news, good news, come and sit and listen to God's Word, to God's Word. Listen with our ears. Today's story comes from the Bible. The Bible is God's true word. The Bible is God's message to us. Today's story comes from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3. Young Samuel went to live at God's house, the tabernacle. 
He served God in a special way every day. Samuel helped Eli, the priest. Priest Eli was getting very old. At night, Samuel slept in a little bedroom near Priest Eli's room. One night, Eli was asleep. Samuel was asleep too. Samuel, Samuel. A voice called in the night. When Samuel heard his name, he went to Eli's room. You called? Here I am to help. But Eli said, No, Samuel, I did not call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel went back to bed. Samuel, Samuel. Again, Samuel heard his name and went back to Eli's room. Here I am. You called? He asked. No, no, Samuel, I did not call you. Go back to bed, Eli said. Again, Samuel heard his name. Samuel, Samuel. Again, he went to see if Eli needed him. Then, Eli knew that God was calling Samuel. Then Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down, Samuel. When God calls you next time, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Samuel obeyed. Samuel went back to bed. When God called again, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. God talked to Samuel. When God talked to someone, it was very special. Samuel was a prophet. God spoke to his people through the prophet. God told Samuel many things to tell Eli and God's people. Samuel was called by God to serve him in a special way. Samuel was a prophet. Let's put our hands together and close our eyes and bow our head and let's pray together. Dear God, you are so wonderful. Thank you for the Bible so that we can learn more about you. Today, we learned that you called Samuel to serve you in a special way. Even though we may be little, teach us how to serve you. Thank you for loving us. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God called Samuel to serve him in a special way, and Samuel trusted God and obeyed him.
For one, two, this is true. Are you ready? One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves Teacher Grace. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. Psalm chapter 150, verse 6. It says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Okay, let's try that. Psalm 150, verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. One more time, Psalm 156. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Good job, everyone. Are you guys ready for the last praise song? Shout for joy. Ready? Let's put our hands together and close our eyes and bow our head and let's sing the Lord's Prayer.
This is end of today's worship. I'm a little sad that we still cannot be together at church to worship together, but I'm very thankful that we could still worship together like this. Long time ago, God spoke to God's people through a prophet, just like Samuel. God would speak to a prophet, and prophet would tell the God's people what God said. Today, God speaks to us through the Bible. That's why it is very important for us to read the Bible. I hope you get to read the Bible many, many times, and I pray that Bible becomes your best favorite book. I'm so glad you're able to join me today, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.